Hey guys, welcome back to Sabres Forever. I'm John, and yet again, another Starfall Saber. This guy it has some pretty cool secrets that I, I know I already showed off, so why am I even calling it a secret? I mean, this guy pops off, and you get a really cool crystal chamber. It's magnetically sealed, and I don't know why I'm showing you from here. We should just jump right in, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, this Starfall Saber hilt is so cool. Um, I think that the story is that it's supposed to be found droid parts, you know, like the Jedi got chased off during Order 66 and needed to repair his saber and he just found himself in a junkyard, you know, like a droid junkyard and um, just kind of laying around, you know, just took parts from droids and um, retrofitted them to work for his lightsaber. So I think Nick, this hilt is made by Nick from Starfall Sabres, he totally nailed this. I mean, look at this activation box. <laughs> it's so cool. The weathering on it's great. I love the yellow and the copper. Um, and then you kind of get this Cal Kestis meets, like, um, Terran Malikos. So very Jedi Fallen Order kind of lightsaber with some cool droid pieces on the... Uh, on the saber here so really really awesome job totally love this kind of getting away from the acid etching and just back to the roots you know with found parts um, and then I love this um, brass coming through um, yeah so how do you open it up uh, this is actually the power this is the auxiliary so top power bottom auxiliary or secondary switch um, this is the set screw to take the bottom off and this is I'm sorry um, yeah. No. Oh, this is the set screw for the blade, which goes in, obviously, there. This set screw it holds in the stock NPXL V3, so don't, don't mess with that. But loosen this, this comes off, and you get your chassis with your, um, Profi board V2.2. So, there it is. And then you get a 28 millimeter bass speaker. There's some of my work. And there's the chassis. So, also I found with these, this part here is a little thick. So if you see this part bent, it's only because it needs to be able to touch the contact for the positive on the battery. Um, it's just serving the exact purpose of what it needs to do, but just take your battery out like this. And you're going to put your nipple nipple side up. So this is going to go like this. And your saber boots right up. You can center that if you want. I'm not actually not even going to bother. So let's uh, refocus. So now the saber's on and we're going to oh, make sure the battery is actually all the way in. And then tighten this guy back down. Try and line it up the best you can. Orientation this way with the screws. And then you can turn the saber on. So tapping on will turn the saber on. Tapping off will turn it off. Tapping the auxiliary wides off will change fonts, which then changes the color. Um, you can actually achieve blaster, um, I'm sorry, lock up, bleh, blaster. But if you hold either button and collide while holding it, you'll get lock up. Um, if you hold the auxiliary for one second with the blade on and release it, you'll get a blaster effect, but now when you move it, you'll get blaster deflection. So you don't have to actually hit a button every time. And then you can stop it by by actually hitting the uh, auxiliary again. You have gesture controls, so you can pull down, it'll turn the saber on, and you can twist off, it'll turn off. And then, I've actually been holding off for the last thing here, but this is a magnetic hatch. So the whole thing pops off to reveal the channel, or the, ch the crystal, but you can also just swing it open like a door. 
and you get this amazing pulsating crystal. It's floating, just a floating chamber. So Nick and I had talked about it, and he was just like, do you think you can just light these three holes? And I was like, sure, no problem. So what this is is actually just three NeoPixels. Um, and the cool thing is, is I've, I've just left the color changing on, but this strobe effect is always white. And when you turn on the saber, it'll just try and transition. Let's see if I can reduce this brightness down. This is a purple. Hero's journey. But then here's a green, and it'll still kind of get that green. And then the neat thing is, I love that in the facets, you can see the holes just like separate and you get kind of that mirror weird effect. So really, really cool. And then it just does this the whole time when it's off. Reconcile. So, really neat, right? <laughs> uh, I thought so. So, yeah, Nick totally killed this. I mean, how could you get any cooler than this saber? <laughs> I say that with all of them, right? Um, but when you're done, uh, there's no kill, kill switch on these, so just loosen the um, set screw, pull this off, and then pop your battery out. Like that. And then you're good to go. So... That way it stays ready for the next time you want to just take it out and the battery's not dead. Or you could leave it on display, you know, for the day on your shelf with the crystal just pulsating open. That would look really cool. So anyways, there we go. Alright guys, that does it for this video. If you like what you see and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more videos. I've got Thrawn Hunters that I'm going to be doing installs on along with um, some Emperor Palpatine lightsaber work. So that's really cool. Stay tuned. We have some stock master chassis work well on its way. So until the next video, may the force be with you.